May 30, 1 Kings 7, 1 to 8, 66. But Solomon took 13 years to build his own house. So he finished all his house. He also built the house of the forest of Lebanon. Its length was 100 cubits. It's with 50 cubits and its height 30 cubits with four rows of cedar pillars and cedar beams on the pillars. And it was paneled with cedar above the beams that were on 45 pillars, 15 to a row. There were windows with, biv with beveled frames in three rows and window was opposite window in three tiles and all the doorways and door posts had rectangular frames and window was opposite window in three tires he also made a hall of pillars its length was 50 cubits and its width 30 cubits and in front of them was a portico with pillars and a canopy was in front of them then he made a hall for the throne the hall of judgment where he might judge and it was paneled with cedar from the floor to ceiling and the house where he dwelt had another court inside the hall or like a workmanship solomon also made a house like this hall for pharaoh's daughter whom he had taken as wife all these were of cost were of costly stones cut to size trimmed with saws inside and out from the foundation to the eaves and all on the outside to the great court the foundation was of costly stones large stones some 10 cubits and some 8 cubits and above were costly stones yawn to size and set our wood the great court was enclosed with three rows of yawn stones and a row of cedar beams so were the inner courts of the house of the lord and the vestibule of the temple now king solomon sent and brought huram from tyre he was a son of a widow from the tribe of naphtali and his father was a man of tyre a bronze worker he was filled with wisdom and understanding and skill in working with all kinds of bronze work so he came to Sol he came to king solomon and did all his work and he cast two pillars of bronze each one 18 cubits high and a line of 12 cubits measured the circum circumference of each then he made two capitals of cast bronze to set on the tops of the pillars the eight of one capital was five cubits and the eight and the height of the other capital was five cubits he made the latest network with wreaths of chain work for the capitals which were on top of the pillars seven chains for one capital and seven for the other capital so he made the pillars and two rows of pomegranates above the network all around to cover the capitals that were on top and thus he did for the cap for the other capital the capitals which were on top of the pillars in the hall were on were in the shape of lilies four cubits the capitals on the two pillars also had pomegranates above by the convex surface which was next to the network and there were 200 such pomegranates in rows on each of the capitals all around then he set up the pillars by the vestibule of the temple he set up the pillar on the right and called its name Jachin or Jachin and he set up the pillar on the left and called its name Boaz the tops of the pillars were on the shape of lilies so the work of the pillars was finished and he made a sea of cast bronze 10 cubits from one brim to the other it was completely round its height was five cubits and a line and a line of 30 cubits measured in circumference below its brim were ornamental buds encircling it all around 10 to a cubit all the way around the sea 
the ornamental buds were cast into rows when it was cast it stood on 12 oxen three looking toward the north three looking toward the west three looking toward the south and three looking toward the east the sea was set upon them and all their back parts pointed inward it was a hand breathe thick and its brim was shaped like the brim of a cup like a lily blossom it contained two thousand baits he also made ten carts of bronze four cubits was the length of each cart four cubits its width and three cubits its height and this was the design of the carts they had panels and the panels were between frames on the panels that were between the frames were lions oxen and cherubim and on the frames was a pedestal on top below the lions and oxen were wreaths of plated work every cart had four bronze wheels and axles of bronze and its four feet and had supports under the laver were supports of cast bronze beside each wreath its opening inside the crown at the top was one cubit in diameter and the opening was round shaped like a pedestal one and a half cubits in outside diameter and also on the opening were engravings but the panels were square not round under the panels were the four wheels and the axles of the wheels were joined were joined to the cart the height of a wheel was one and a half cubits the workmanship of the wheels was like the workmanship of a chariot wheel the axle pins their rims their spokes and their hubs were all of cast bronze and there were four supports at the four corners of each cart its support its supports were part of the cart itself on the top of the cart at the height of a half cubit it was perfectly round and on top of the cart its flames and its panels were on were of the same casting on the plates of its flames and on its panels he engraved cherubim lions and palm trees wherever there was a clear space on each with wreaths all around thus he made the ten carts all of them were on the same mold one measure and one shape then he made ten lavers of bronze each each la laver contained 40 baths baits and each laver was four cubits on each of the ten carts was a laver and he put five carts on the right side of the house and five on the left side of the house he set the sea on the right side of the house toward the south southeast Horam made the lavers and the shovels and the bowls so Horam finished doing all the work that he was to do for king solomon for the house of the lord the two pillars the two bowl shaped capitals that were on top of the two pillars the two network covering networks covering the two bowl shaped capitals which were on top of the pillars 400 pomegranates for the two networks two rows of pomegranates for each network to cover the two bowl shaped capitals that were on top of the pillars the ten carts and the ten lavers and the carts one sea and twelve oxen and under the sea the pots the shovels and the bowls all these articles which hora made for king solomon for the house of the lord were of burnished bronze in the plain of jordan the king had them cast in clay molds between Sokoth and zaritan and solomon did not weigh all the articles because there were so many the weight of the bronze was not determined that solomon had all the furnishings made for the house of the lord the altar of gold and the table of gold on which was the showbread the lampstand of pure gold five on the right side and five on the left in front of the inner sanctuary with the flowers and the lamps and the wick trimmers of gold 
the basins, the trimmers, the bowls, the ladles, the censers of pure gold, and the hinges of gold, both for the doors of the inner room, the most holy place, and for the doors of the main hall of the temple. So all the king, so all the work that King Solomon had done for the house of the Lord was finished. And Solomon brought in the things which his father David had dedicated, the silver and the gold and the furnishings. He put them in the treasuries of the house of the Lord. Now Solomon assembled the elders of Israel and all the heads of the tribes, the chief fathers of the children of Israel, to King Solomon in Jerusalem, that they might bring up the ark of the covenant of the Lord from the city of David, which is in Zion. Therefore all the men of Israel assembled with King Solomon at the feast in the, mount, in the month of Ephanim, which is the seventh month. So all the elders of Israel came, and the priests took up the ark. Then they brought up the ark of the Lord, the tabernacle of meeting, and all the holy furnishings that were in the tabernacle. The priests and the Levites brought them up. Also King Solomon and all the congregation of Israel who were assembled with him were with him before the ark, sacrificing sheep and oxen that could not be counted or numbered for multitude. Then the priests brought in the ark of the covenant of the Lord to its place into the inner sanctuary of the temple to the most holy place under the wings of the cherubim. For the cherubim spread to their two wings over the place of the ark, and the cherubim overshadowed the ark and its poles. The poles extended so that the ends of the poles could be seen from the holy place in front of the inner sanctuary, but they could not be seen from the outside from outside. And they are there to this day. Nothing was in the ark except the two tablets of stone which Moses put there at Horeb when the Lord made a covenant with the children of Israel when they came out of the land of Egypt and it came to pass when the priests came out of the holy place that the cloud filled the house of the Lord so that the priests could not continue ministering because of the cloud for the glory of the Lord filled the house of the Lord then Solomon spoke. The Lord, the Lord said he would dwell in the dark cloud. I surely built you an exalted house and a place for you to dwell in forever. Then the king turned around and blessed the whole assembly of Israel while all the assembly of Israel was standing. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel who spoke with his mouth to his to my father David and with his hand has fulfilled it saying since the day since the day that I brought my people Israel out of Egypt I have chosen no city from any tribe of Israel in which to build a house that my name might be there but I chose David to be over my people Israel now it was in the heart of my father David to build a temple for the name of the Lord God of Israel. But the Lord said to my father David, Whereas it was in your heart to build a temple for my name, you did well that it was in your heart. Nevertheless, you shall not build a temple. But your son, who will come from your body, he shall build a temple for my name. So the Lord spoke, or so the Lord has fulfilled his word which he spoke, and I have filled the position of my father David and sit on the throne of Israel as the Lord promised, and I have built a temple for the name of the Lord God of Israel, and there I have made a place for the ark in which is the covenant of the Lord which he made with our fathers when he brought them out of the land of Egypt. Then Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in the presence of all the assembly of Israel and spread out his hands toward heaven. And he said, Lord God of Israel, there is no God in heaven above or on earth below like you, 
who keep your covenant and mercy with your servants, who walk before you with all their hearts. You have kept what you promised to your servant David, my father. You have both spoken with your mouth and fulfilled it with your hand as it is this day. Therefore, Lord God of Israel, now keep what you promised your servant David, my father, saying, You shall not fail to have a man sit before me on the throne of Israel, only if your sons take heed to their way, that they walk before me as you have walked before me. And now I pray, O God of Israel, let your word come true, which you have spoken to your servant David, my father. But will God indeed dwell on the earth? Behold, heaven and the heaven of heavens cannot contain you. How much less this temple which I have built, yet regard the prayer of your servant and his supplication, O Lord my God, and listen to the cry of the prayer which your servant is praying before you today, that your eyes may be open toward this temple night and day, toward the place of which you said, My name shall be there, that you may hear the prayer which your servant makes toward this place, and you may hear the supplication of your servant and of your people Israel when they pray toward this place. Here in heaven, your dwelling place, and when you hear, forgive. When anyone sins against his neighbor and is forced to take an oath, and comes and takes an oath before your altar in this temple, then here in heaven, and act and judge your servants, condemning the wicked, bringing his way on his head, and justifying the righteous by giving him according to his righteousness. Your people Israel are defeated before an enemy because they have sinned against you. And when they turn back to you and confess your name and pray and make supplication to you in this temple, then hear in heaven and forgive the sin of your people Israel and bring them back to the land which you gave to their fathers. When the heavens are shut up and there is no rain because they have sinned against you, when they pray toward this place and confess your name and turn from their sin because you afflict them, then hear in heaven and forgive the sin of your servants, your people Israel, that you may teach them the good way in which they should walk and send rain on your land which you have given to your people as an inheritance. When there is famine in the land, Palestinians or blight or mild dew, locusts, or grasshoppers when their enemy besieges them in the land of their cities whatever plague or whatever sickness there is whatever prayer whatever supplication is made by anyone or by all your people Israel when each one knows the plague of, of his own heart and spreads out his hands toward the temple and here in heaven your dwelling place and forgive and act and give to everyone according to all his ways, whose heart you know, for you for you alone know the hearts of all the sons of men, that they may fear you all the days that they live in the land which you gave to our fathers. Moreover, concerning the fo concerning a foreigner who is not of your people Israel, but has come from far country of your namesake. For they will hear of your great name and your strong hand and your outstretched arm. When he comes and prays toward this temple, here in heaven your dwelling place, and do according to all for which the foreigner calls to you, that all peoples of the earth may know your name and fear you, as do your people Israel, and that they may know that this temple which I have built is called by your name when your people go out to battle against the enemy wherever you send them and when they pray to the lord toward the city which you have chosen and the people which i have built for your name and the temple which i have built for your name then here in heaven their prayer and their supplication to maintain their cause when they sin against you 
for there is no one who does not sin. And you become angry with them and deliver them to the enemy. And they take them captive to the land of the enemy far or near. Yet when they come to themselves in the land where they were carried captive and repent and make supplication to you in the land of those who took them captive saying, We have sinned and done wrong. We have committed wickedness. And when they return, when they return to you with all their heart and with all their soul in the land of their enemies who led them away captive and pray to you toward their land which you gave to their fathers the city which you have chosen and the temple which i have built for your name then here in heaven your dwelling place there their prayer and their supplication to maintain their cause and forgive your people who have sinned against you and all their transgressions which have transgressed against you and grant them compassion before those who took them captive that they may have compassion on them for they are your people and your inheritance whom you brought out of egypt out of the iron furnace that your eyes may be open to the supplication of your servant and the supplication of your of your people israel to listen to them whenever they call to you For you separated them from among all the peoples of the earth to be your inheritance, as you spoke by your servant Moses, when you brought our fathers out of Egypt, O Lord God. And so it was when Solomon had finished praying all this prayer and supplication to the Lord, that he arose from before the altar of the Lord, from kneeling on his knees with his hands spread spread up to heaven. Then he stood and blessed all the assembly of Israel with a loud voice saying, Blessed be the Lord who has given rest to his people Israel according to all that he promised. There has not failed one word of all his good promise which he promised through his servant Moses. May the Lord our God be with us as he was with our fathers. May he not leave us nor forsake us that he may incline our hearts to himself to walk in all his ways and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments which he commanded our fathers and these words of mine which with which i have made supplication before the lord be near the lord our god day and night and he may maintain the cause of his servant and the cause of his people Israel, as each day may require, that all peoples of the earth may know that the Lord is God. There is no other. Let your heart, therefore, be loyal to the Lord our God, to walk in his statute, statutes and keep his commandments, as at this day. Then the king and all Israel with him offered sacrifices before the Lord, and Solomon offered a sacrifice of peace offerings, which he offered to the Lord, 22,000 bulls and 120,000 sheep. So the king and all the children of Israel dedicated the house of the Lord. On the same day, the king consecrated the middle of the court that was in front of the house of the Lord. For there he offered burnt offerings, grain offerings, and the fat of the peace offerings, because the bronze altar that was before the Lord was too small to receive the burnt offerings, the grain offerings, and the fat of the peace offerings. At that time Solomon held a feast, and all Israel with him, a great assembly from entrance of Hamath to the brook of Egypt, before the Lord our God, seven days and seven more days, fourteen days. On the eighth day he sent the people away, And they blessed the king and went to their tents joyful and glad of heart for all the good that the Lord had done for his servant David and for all and for Israel his people. Psalm 68, 28-35 Your God has commanded your strength. Strengthen, O God, what you have done for us, because your peop- because your temple at Jerusalem, kings 
will bring presents to you. Rebuke the beasts of their weeds, the herd of bulls with the calves of the peoples, till everyone submits himself with pieces of silver. Scatter the peoples who delight in war, and voice will come out of Egypt. Ethiopia will quickly stretch out her hands to God. Sing to God, you kingdoms of the earth. Sing praises to the Lord. Selah. To him who rides on the heaven of heavens, which were of old. Indeed, he sends out his voice, a mighty voice. Ascribe strength to God. His excellence is over Israel. And his strength is in the clouds. O God, you are more awesome than your holy places. The God of Israel is he who gives strength and power to his people. Blessed be God. Proverbs seventeen sixteen to seventeen. Why is there in the Why is there in the hand of a fool the purchase price of wisdom since he has no heart of it? A friend loves at all times, but a brother is born for adversity. John eleven one to twenty nine. Now a certain man was sick. Lazarus of Bethany, the town of Mary and her sister Martha. It was that Mary who anointed the Lord with fragrant oil and wiped his feet with her hair. His brother Lazarus was sick. Therefore the sister sent to him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom you love is sick. When Jesus heard that, he said, When Jesus heard that, he said, This sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was sick, he stayed two more days in the place where he was. And after this, he said to the disciples, Let us go to Judea again. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, lately the Jews sought to stone you, and are you going there again? Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble, because he sees the light of this world. But if one walks in the night, he stumbles, because the light is not in him. These things he said, and after that he said to them, our friend, our friend Lazarus sleeps, but I go that I may wake him up. Then his disciples said, Lord, if he sleeps, he will get well. However, Jesus spoke of his death, but they thought that he was speaking about taking rest in sleep. Then Jesus said to them plainly, Lazarus is dead, and I am glad for your sakes that I was not there, that you may believe. Nevertheless, let us go to him. Then Thomas, who is called the twin, said to his fellow disciples, Let us, go, let us also go that we may die with him. So when Jesus came, he found that he had already been in the tomb four days. Now Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles away, and many of the Jews had joined the women around Martha and Mary to comfort them concerning their brother. Now Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary was sitting in the house, and Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not be or would not have died but even now I know that whatever you ask of God God will give you Jesus said to her your brother will rise again Martha said to him I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day Jesus said to her I am the resurrection and the life he who believes in me 
Though he may die, he shall live, and whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is come, who is to come into the world. And when she had said these things, she went her way and secretly called Mary, his sister, saying, The teacher has come and is calling for you. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came to him. Amen and Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, and your and the Holy Spirit for your goodness and your faithfulness, God. Thank you, Lord, for your word is true. Thank you, God, for the forgiveness of my sins, O Lord. Cleanse me, O God, from all of my unrighteousness, God. I believe, God, that you are the resurrection and the life, O Lord. Thank you that I'll be spending eternity in heaven with you, Lord. You deserve, O God, all the praises, glory, admiration, honor. You are the King of kings, God of all gods, Lord of all lords. Hallelujah, hallelujah, my personal Savior. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Amen.